Look, it's a new background again. And this time I'm outside. I just decided to come out here and shoot this video because it's so nice out here now. It's, it's really sunny. Yeah, even though it doesn't look like it because I'm, I'm in the shade. So you can see me. But it's it's gorgeous out. There's not a cloud in the sky. And it's, it's warm. So I, I just thought, why not come out here? Better than being indoors in my room where I usually am. Uh, for this video, I wanted to talk about something that's going on in the news right now. And then kind of relate it back to autism. I think I, I can do that. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, but uh, a lot of people have been talking about this, this uh, Bruce Jenner, Jennings, whatever his name is. Uh, his interview with Diane Sawyer's about him coming out as transgender, transgender. So I I haven't seen the whole interview. I've just just seen some some clips, but it, but it seems like a, a really good interview. Uh, I think I'll watch the whole thing. Uh, but I I only know Bruce from the uh. I guess his name's not Bruce anymore. He changed that, but I don't know what it is. So I'll, I'll just call her Bruce since she's now a woman. Uh, but I just know her from uh, that the horrible reality TV show that I, I don't even want to say the name of because I hate I hate them really much a lot but I found out by watching uh, some of this interview that that uh, Bruce is or was an Olympic athlete and he, he won some medals which which is way more impressive than his reality TV connections. Yeah, so I actually, I actually like him more because I just thought his whole claim to fame was that family. I won't say the name of. But apparently he had a whole, a whole uh, another life before reality TV, which, which is amazing. But while I was watching the interview, uh, I kind of thought that coming out as transgender or gay might be similar to coming out as autistic. Maybe. I could be wrong. Because I'm not gay. Or anything else, but they they are kind of similar because uh, you are both born uh, each way. You're born gay and uh, most likely born autistic. Uh, as of now. The, I think the science says you are most likely born with autism, uh, and then, and then uh, as you develop, you notice that it's not caused by vaccinations. No, no, that that's bullshit. I think I'll make a whole nother video about that. Cause 
autism is not caused by vaccinations. Not at all. I think most likely kids are born with it. Gay kids and uh, autistic kids, they, they know they're di different from, from uh, a young age. Most of them, anyway, I I knew that I was different uh, when I was younger, but I I didn't know why. I just thought that it might have just been my personality or something else. Uh, Uh, but I, I just knew, knew I was different. And the gay kids, they know that they're, they're different, most of them. Birds. Uh, and, you, you know, both of them, I gotta, I gotta quit saying you know. I'm just basically talking to myself, so I know, yeah, yeah, I know. And with gay people and some autistic people like myself, uh, we, we both have to come out to other people. And I had to, or I did to my family, uh, not too long ago. People can't tell I'm autistic just by looking at me, and people can't tell other people are gay or bisexual or, or another sexuality just by looking at them. Uh, you can probably hear the neighbors, the neighborhood's dogs barking. Once my dogs aren't barking at them. Yeah. Now they're well behaved. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't tell people I'm autistic. Really, the only people I've told are my family. I haven't told anyone at my work. So, yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably tell other people, other friends and co-workers later on that I have autism, but yeah, I, I don't have to come out to them, and gay people don't always have to come out to other people. There are some similarities. But, like I said, I, I could be wrong about this, because uh, you know, I'm, I'm straight, so what do I know about being, being gay or another sexuality? Maybe I'm wrong about this, and... and Maybe this whole video was a waste of time. <laughs> yes. yeah. I don't know very many gay people. I know a couple people who I went to school with. They have come out as gay or lesbian. And actually, I do know uh, a gay person uh, in my autis autism group that I go to. Uh, there's, there's actually one gay person and one transgender person uh, who, who come to the autism group that I go to.
but I haven't talked to them uh, about this subject. And there's a train whistle. Okay. Thanks. So, uh, I, I do know one gay person and one transgender person, but we're, we're not that close. And I haven't talked to them. But, stupid train whistle. Uh, but, you know, they, they have, they have an extra burden being, <coughs> being, uh, not, not, uh, straight or cis, cisgender, because it's, it's, I, I know it's harder for gay people and transgender people and, uh, women and other people of races, basically anyone who's not like me, it's harder for, uh, it's harder for them just in society. I know that. I'm not one of those people who thinks it's all good now. Because I, I know it's not. It might be all good for me, which it is. But but for other people, uh, uh, they they have to go through a lot of bullshit. Uh, just because of the way they were born, it's fucked up. It shouldn't. I know it shouldn't be that way. Especially now, with what's going on in Baltimore, all the protests and the riots, <clears throat> and you know that that all started because of another black guy killed by the police, which which has been so many lately, but. Um, now I'm getting way off, off topic. I'm just, act, I'm actually talking over a train whistle, train horn. Shut up already. It's not always like this. Usually don't hear the trains at a fall. Only once in a while, but anyway, those are just my thoughts that uh, I had in my head and wanted to share. So uh, until next video.